Thanks for taking the time. Oh, I was just, I'm just following Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would say, I'm just so <laughs> excited to be here. It's it's an honor. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here talking about the second annual Champions of Change. Uh, there's two things you guys need to know about. Primarily, you need to know about a celebrity all-star basketball game. There's also an auction. We'll tell you what you need to know. But let's start with the foundation itself. Second annual, you guys are still letting people know about it. And what I love about it, Doug, I'll start with you. It benefits multiple grassroots organizations. Yeah, so it's the... The impetus for this was just, you know, Cliff and myself and, and, and Mike B. It's a great just, word. <laughs> a great word. Yeah. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds Can I talk now? Can I talk You're now? throwing my, my guest oh, off. My apologies. <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> no, we just, we, we found ourselves doing similar work and in similar spaces. Yeah. So it was just like, why don't we just do this together? Why don't we, you know, do what we know, being a team and, and do this together? And to your point, yeah, there's a number of organizations that we've worked with mm -hmm. and that we support and that. Um, are doing really, really good work in the community. And so our job is to highlight them, raise money so they can go out and do it even better. Cliff, I always think about the organizations and people that helped me come up throughout mm -hmm. the years. Was that kind of a motivation behind this too? Did you have organizations and people in your life that, that helped you? Well, it, yes. And also just understanding that you can't do it all by yourself either, right? Like there's organizations in the community that are doing a lot of great work. So for us, it's just more about, again, shining light on them, but also, uh, you know, kind of one of those things like give them their flowers too, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, a lot of these organizations that, that we're supporting don't necessarily have the big donors and, mm -hmm. and different things like that. So if we can shed light on them and support them at the same time, why not? But it, it, it's it's also, again, going back to your question, is it's also understanding that we can't do all of it by ourselves. So And we also understand teamwork, right? So that, that they're a part of our team as we try to make a difference. I think that's what I love about the just Champions of Change, the organization in general, is we all know what Boys and Girls Club is. Mm -hmm. There's so many organizations in and around Seattle that serve underrepresented and underserved communities in Seattle. And you guys hit on a lot of these. Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. You have Dads, which is a grassroots org uh, leading a movement to eradicate the epidemic of absent fathers. Uh, it's Women United, um, kinship caregivers, and they uh, they serve, obviously, women within the community. And then Humble Design Seattle, Dignity for Divas. I mean... These are all foundations that some people probably haven't heard about, and they deserve uh, to have attention, and I'm so glad that you guys have partnered with them. And you're doing it in a really cool way, because not only is there an auction, again, I'll tell you guys about that, there's also a basketball game. What's yeah. going on here, Doug? <laughs> Well, we got to bring our competitive edge to it, too. Of course. Then. I mean, we're dealing with <laughs> yeah, professional start, athletes. Let's start there. Yeah. Look, <laughs> we're all competitors, first and foremost. I feel like it's going to start out as, like, we're so happy to be here, and then all of a sudden it's going to turn into, like, just they're getting real no, too serious. the whole game. Serious the whole game. <laughs> course, the whole game. <laughs> of course it was. It wasn't like the all-star game where you go three quarters, everybody just messing mm, around. The no, last two minutes you get no, going no, from tip. No. Well, I, I think, uh, before, before Doug goes, I think part of it, too, is, like, in our past life, if any, and this goes for most athletes, we if I feel like if I was three inches taller, no question in my mind that I'm in the NBA. <laughs> for Facts. sure, yeah, for Facts. sure. No, I totally, yeah, so we totally all, agree we with all you. football players, all the athletic guys at least feel that yeah. way. So when we get a chance to actually play on an actual basketball court, yeah, we're gonna try to show like, hey. If he was three inches tall, he probably would have made it to the league. Oh right? my god! So can we're I, competitive. Can I ask you guys? So I hear from Bump, who talks about like that if you're an athlete, like if you're a pro athlete, there's just a competitive drive that you can't turn off and you always have it no yes. matter what. Mm -hmm. Like you got involved in like a wiffle ball tournament. Yes. You get involved yeah. with golf and you're Ooh. like, I have to do something. Is that how you guys feel? You're like, I uh, have to do something. This is who I am. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do? Unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to take a little bit different approach this cliff um, <laughs> because I need six more inches. Before, and and if, I, if, I was six, if I was six inches taller, I would be in the NBA. There's no question in my mind. No, yeah, for there's sure. There's no question I totally in my agree. mind. Even, even well, if... <laughs> Even if it's totally false, there's no, there's no doubt. We'll no never doubt. know, so we can we can say that. <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna prove you wrong. Exactly. Absolutely no one. Exactly. But to the point, like you know, we wanted to figure out what was what was gonna be fun for us, what was gonna be fun for the community. Yeah. Uh, how do we do this in a special way that could bring folks together from mm -hmm. all walks of life for an entertaining a, a event? And basketball is a key. And for you know, obviously, Seattle needs a basketball yes. team. Yes. Right. See me repping. Yes. <laughs> we we all want basketball to be here, and mm -hmm. so. Before that comes, because it is coming, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, let's have some fun and let's put on a game that you know our community can get excited about. And so when the when the Sonics do return, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're just warming them up. Exactly. Man, you guys got some names uh, last year in the game. I mean, how easy is it once you guys put the message out? You talk to your boys and, and maybe people who aren't in your circle. Uh, I would imagine people jump at the opportunity to take a part in this thing. Yeah, I think, you know, it's it's not necessarily hard to convince guys to be a part because most of the guys that are, are a part of it also do a lot of work in the community. Right. You know, you look at a Jamal Crawford, uh, you know, arguably one of the, the best six men, ever, but he's he's like royalty, basketball royalty out here. Hey, Mar, you want to hey, play in this game? We're, we're doing it to support such and such organization. Oh, man, count me in. If my schedule is open, count me in. You know, so uh, essentially everyone, um, if, they're, if their schedule is open and they understand what we're doing in the community, they're, they're, all, they're all in. So it's not really that difficult other than pinning down dates. You right. know what I mean? Um, but for the most part, everybody's they're, they're excited about mm-hmm. it because they also do a lot of work in, in, in the community as well. So last year's was in June for both the auction uh, and the basketball game. Tickets are buy one, get one free for both events. You can go to championsofchangefoundation.org. Right, Cliff? Yes. Championsofchangefoundation.org. <laughs> uh, we only have like a minute 30 left with you guys. So um, I actually wanted to ask a question. It's still relevant, but I think it means a lot to listeners. Neither of you from Washington State. Nope. Both of you, after spending uh, careers with Seattle, decided to stay in Washington State specifically with, with foundations, specifically to give back. Why? I'll let Cliff answer this because I, I feel like Cliff got the perfect answer. <laughs> well, um, we're both at, from Florida, so yes. we couldn't be any further away from home right. <laughs> than being in Washington. But I, I know for me, one of the main reasons why I stayed is because um, – one, I mean, Washington in general with my kids is super innovative, right? Like the education system out here is, is amazing. So from a family perspective, you check that box off. But then also from from just a, a growth standpoint uh, as an athlete, if you look at around most cities that there's an NFL team, there's a professional team, the athletes might be some of the highest earners in those cities. Well, in Seattle, we might not come top 3,000. You know what I mean? And and what that means for me is there's room for growth outside mm-hmm. of the sport, right? There's there's room to continue to to get into your second career and and have people that don't necessarily have their hand out as in they they want something from you, but more of, oh man, you you've done so much for my kids. They enjoy watching you play, whatever it may be, but I can help you in this space. Allow me to grow uh in, in my second career. So I, I think that's huge. And then, you know, being the just being able to to collectively all of us have made Washington home and Seattle home, all of us can still come together and still have that, that community that, that most athletes end up missing once they're done as well. So there, there's multiple reasons, but in particular, those three reasons are why uh, I decided to make Washington home, Seattle home in particular, uh, because uh, growth and, and being able to serve the community. All right, Cliff, Doug, and Michael Bennett, the champions of change founders, you guys need to get involved. If you have a group of two people that want to go, make it a group of four. Again, buy one, get one free for both the auction and the all-star basketball game champions of change foundation.org write it down i'm going to say it one more time champions of change foundation.org i know that these two are fan favorites for a lot of you guys and i know that you're excited to see them in the community serving the community and they're going to be here this is their foundation so make sure that you get involved as well all right we are getting back to some seahawks talk coming up next don't go anywhere